Hey there, Dave DeBoe coming at you. Hope you're having a good week and kind of a good middle of August at the time that I'm recording this. Anyhow, just got back late last Sunday night from a three day, well, three and a half day actually, uh, workshop, seminar, what have you, called JVology, all about doing joint ventures. It was put on by Jay Fissett, um, very sharp gentleman based out of Calgary, actually, who um, has a lot of experience doing business type joint ventures. So I do a lot of this for my training and information marketing side of my business. Well, real estate actually do a lot of joint ventures as well. So there's a lot that that overlaps there. So this was an event that, first of all, I, I helped to promote and second of all, that I was very interested in uh, attending myself. I actually went the other way around. I was really interested in attending, so I helped to promote it as well. And I've taken a little bit of a hiatus the last little while from attending at events and going to mastermind things and all that kind of thing, uh, just because I felt like I was overdoing it for a while. Plus, I've been doing a heck of a lot of my own events this last year. So it was really nice to get back into attending a good, very good quality event like this one. And that's what I want to talk to you about a little bit today is just the whole concept of live and in person versus virtual. And I'm a fan of both, but I think I've got to say my my hat gets tipped to going to live in person events. And I know sometimes that's kind of a hassle, it's kind of a pain. You got to travel you got to get hotels, you got to get up early in the morning. I mean, this this event went from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. one day, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. another day. You know, it's it's they're pretty long days sometimes uh, versus just taking a course at your own pace online, which is great, too. But live events, uh, there, there's something about them. First of all, the, the big thing, especially when you're going to a joint venture event, is all about connecting with potential joint venture partners. So. I'm not a big networky schmoozy kind of guy. However, what I like to do when I attend events is I like to connect with maybe two, maybe three people on more of a deeper, more meaningful way. So at this event, I reconnected with my good buddy, Dan the Man Locke. I reconnected with Matt Astefan, gentleman that I've worked with in the past. So we're gonna work with each other uh, again, moving ahead. So that was a good reconnection. And just the whole thing of going to the event got my creativity creativity going and sparked me to, to take some action on some other things. So I've reached out to someone else and I'll, I'll be doing some joint ventures with them as well. So bottom line, I think uh, conservatively speaking from attending this event, it's going to probably mean somewhere in the range of seventy-five dollars to $100,000 in business to my bottom line. So that's significant. That's worth spending a few days going out and, and uh, taking the event. In addition, there are all the good stuff they alert. So if you have the opportunity, make sure that you go to live events, live and in-person events, not just you know virtual type things or online things. Uh, that nothing beats being there face-to-face -face and meeting people and, and just getting to know it that way. All right, so that's my little rant for today. Uh, speaking of joint ventures, I. Recently spoke with a gentleman who has done a gazillion joint ventures through for real estate, but um, things went awry with one of them and then the, the house kind of fell down around him, ended up getting sued by a bunch of his joint venture partners or several of his joint venture partners because in my opinion, he kind of um, may end getting in big trouble with the Securities Commission because it wasn't clear what the relationship was. He wasn't working with people in his sphere of influence. So uh, that's something I'm actually going to be talking about uh, quite in depth uh, tomorrow night. So that's Thursday, what is it, August the 17th. I'm doing a whole little webinar on, not a web, webinar, a web training exactly on that. And no, I'm not selling any home study courses at the end of the training. This is actual training all about that and of course at, at the end of the training you're interested in 
and talking with me personally about how I can help you accomplish it, we'll be talking about that. But there's nothing for sale per se on the training. So if you'd like to find out who you should be focusing on as your joint venture partners, your money partners, your investors for your real estate deals, this is a presentation you'll definitely want to be on. All right. So there should be a button below this that you can click on to register for that uh, web training. And otherwise, hope you have a good week. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.